This video is being brought to you by these slippers suck production. <laughs> Everybody, it's another Joseph Manella Kiss Wednesday track by track album battle. We got a little fired up, man, because last week I did an episode on a hey, Power Slave turns 40 today. So he was like, hey man, you know what? Put Power Slave against the first Kiss album. And I was like, alright. So here we go, Joseph. We started off with, oh wait, before we go in, which album do I like more? Look, if we're talking about the first two Iron Maiden albums, those, are, those two can beat the first Kiss album. But that's it. When it comes to Iron Maiden's discography, only the first two albums could beat this first Kiss album. Nope, not better than number, uh, it's better than Number of the Beast, it's better than Peace of Mind, and it's better than Power Sleep. All those albums, I like the first Kiss album more. Yes, some of you out there, laugh if you must. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, it's how I feel, all right? I still love Power Slave regardless. Go look at the episode I put up last week in case you didn't see it. How much I lather the butt of Power Slave. I absolutely love that album. It's just no first Kiss album, that's all I'm saying. All right, let's get into this, all right? Strutter versus Ace is High. Both great. I'm going with Maiden on that one, though. Ace is High, all the way, man. All right, next. Nothing to Lose versus Two Minutes to Midnight. I'm going to go with Two Minutes to Midnight, man. Look at that. Maiden coming out of the gate, kicking some butt. Can I keep it up? Let's find out with the next song. Firehouse versus Lost for Words. You know, usually Firehouse loses, but it's not gonna lose in this case. And I dig Lost for Words. I do dig it, and I'm not the biggest Firehouse fan, but man, that guitar solo ace does it. That alone, I think, would put it over Lost for Words. So I'm giving that one a kiss. All right, next. Cold Gin versus Flash of the Blade. Love them both, but I'm going with Cold Gin. That's how I feel. I'm telling you, his first Kiss album is badass. Even a crappy song like Firehouse One. Well, not crappy, but you know what I'm trying to say because I don't. All right, so next is Let Me Know versus Duelist. By the way, I said I picked Cold Gin over Flash of the Blade, right? Yes, I did. Let Me Know. Against the Duelist, another one for Kiss. Kiss is kicking ass. Let me know. Like it more. All right, next. Deuce versus Back in the Village. I want to give it to Back in the Village because I love that song and a lot of people hate it. Like, like last week when I put up that episode of Power Slave, you know, I asked everybody to rank the album and... A lot of them put Back in the Village all the way at the bottom. But I can't. I can't put it above Deuce. I'm sorry. I got to give another one a kiss. All right. Next. Love Theme from Kiss versus Power Slave. Boy, is this one ever easy. <laughs> I love Power Slave. I hate Love Theme from Kiss. Easily made it. Easily. All right, next. A hundred thousand years versus Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. The toughest one ever on this track by track. I know what I'm picking, but this one hurts. Not gonna lie, it hurts. I'm giving it to a hundred thousand years. That's right. All right, that's the end of the Maiden album, but there's still a track left on... Um, this album, the Kiss album, and notice I didn't put uh, Kiss in time, so I don't have to add another track. 
but I was able to add one track to go against Black Diamond, the greatest Kiss song of the 70s. Will the bonus track beat it? Well, the bonus track I'm going to use from the Power Slave era is my favorite of the B-sides, a song called Rainbow's Gold. And it's a cover of a band called Beckett. Um, I love Rainbow's Gold, but I'm going with Kiss, man. Black Diamond takes it. So, Joseph Manella, this is the final score. Just look at that. You know how many people are watching this right now saying, man, this guy's nuts. <laughs> how the hell can the first Kiss album get that much against Power Slave? And you know what? Everybody, I agree with you, man. I am nuts, man. It's how I feel, but obviously I feel like a nut. But there you go. I, You know, actually, I'm going to be honest with you. Looking at this, I get kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, damn. I don't like Kiss that much. That's sad, man. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Anyway, at least at least I can acknowledge being a Kiss tart. <laughs> Not a Kiss twat, though. Those are the people that can't, can't accept other people's opinions on Kiss. Anyway, whatever, man. Thank you again, Joseph Manella, and thank you, everybody, watching on this Joseph Manella track-by-track -track Kiss Wednesday. And thank you again, everybody. I want you all to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell. And please like the video. Because that's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob. <laughs>